What's up, everybody? This is Big Sarge back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the 35 Tango MOS or the Military Intelligence Systems Maintainer Integrator MOS. In case this is what you want to do if you decide to join the U.S. Army. So let's get into it. All right. So you're digging through U.S. Army jobs and stumble across one with a super techie kind of mysterious name. The 35 Tango, which is also known as the Military Intelligence Systems Maintainer Integrator. Now, it sounds like something straight out of a Tom Clancy novel or a high tech action movie. But exactly what does the 35 Tango actually do? Is it all classified James Bond stuff? Do they sit in a room full of blinking screens and encrypted radios? Or are they out in the field fixing sensitive gear that cannot afford to break? Well, if you're curious about technology, you have an interest in electronics, and you want a role that combines tactical missions with behind the scenes magic, then you're going to want to stick around because the 35 Tango MOS might just be one of the coolest, most essential tech jobs in the entire army without most people even knowing it exists. So with that being said, let's go. All right. So exactly what does 35 Tango stand for? So in the army, all jobs are given codes called MOSs or military occupational specialties. In the 35 series, this is the army's military intelligence career field. And the T stands for technical. So a 35 Tango is essentially the tech brain behind military intelligence systems. Officially, it's the military intelligence systems maintainer and integrator, but informally, they're the IT gurus, electronic wizards, and system specialists who keeps the Army's most sensitive and mission critical gear up and running. All right, so exactly what type of gear are we talking about here? Well, the Army uses all kinds of high-tech equipment to gather intel, monitor communications, and stay one step ahead of threats. And as a 35 Tango, you're going to be working with things like secure computer systems, satellite communications terminals, tactical and strategic signal collection systems, surveillance and reconnaissance systems, electronic warfare systems, encryption devices and cryptographic systems, ground-based sensors, server-based databases, and military software platforms, and intelligence fusion systems. So basically, you're going to be the one ensuring that the Army's eyes and ears are wide open. And when a commander needs to know what's going on behind enemy lines, or when intelligence analysts are trying to piece together info from multiple sources, you're going to be the person making sure the tools they rely upon are running smoothly. All right, so let's talk about the day-to-day -day activities of a 35 Tango. So let's say that you're deployed with a unit. One day, a secure server goes down in the middle of an intelligence operation and everybody's scrambling and the entire mission depends on that system getting back online really fast. That's where you come in. Or maybe you're back in garrison performing preventative maintenance on signal collection systems, updating firmware and troubleshooting intermittent issues in classified networks. So that's some of the stuff that you might do. So here's a quick list of some common 35 Tango responsibilities. So you're probably going to be out there troubleshooting and repairing mission critical intelligence systems, performing diagnostics on satellite and tactical communication devices, integrating multiple systems into larger intelligence networks, installing new equipment in a field environment or command center, ensuring cyber hygiene and operational security standards are met, working alongside intelligence analysts, signal intelligence and cyber personnel, supporting software upgrades and patch management for intelligence systems, and training others on how to operate certain pieces of military intelligence equipment. Now understand that this is a hybrid job. This is part electronics technician, part IT support, and part field integrator. And it's all about precision, reliability, and security. All right, so let's talk about the type of training that you're going to get. So if you sign up for 35 Tango, your training starts with 10 weeks of basic combat training. And that's the boot camp everybody goes through, where you're going to learn how to march, shoot, work as a team and become a soldier first. They're going to get shipped off to AIT or advanced individual training at Fort Huachuca in Arizona. And fair warning, this course is long. We're talking like 42 weeks long. And why is the training so long? Because they're going to be packing in a ton of technical content, including computer systems maintenance, electronic theory and circuitry, network fundamentals, satellite and radio communications, cryptographic equipment support, operating systems and software configuration, and intelligence systems troubleshooting. So this isn't basic IT help desk stuff. 
You're going to be learning how to work on systems that carry national security level data in environments where downtime is not an option. And by the time you graduate AIT, you're going to be certified in military electronic systems and potentially even earn industry recognized certifications like CompTIA A+, Network+, Plus, or Security+. Plus. Next thing is, is this a combat job? Well, not really. But that does not mean you will never leave the wire. So 35 Tangos are considered non-combat support troops, which means your primary role is to maintain and integrate systems, not to engage with the enemy directly. However, depending upon your unit and mission, you could be deployed to a forward operating base or a mobile tactical environment. And the places that you'll typically find yourself working are in secure facilities like SCIFs or tactical operation centers or TOCs or mobile intel stations. But remember, you're still a soldier, so you're going to be trained to handle your weapon, respond to threats, and operate in combat zones if needed. All right, so let's talk about the skills that you're going to need to succeed. So you don't need to be a computer science genius, but you do need a strong interest in electronics, computers, and systems troubleshooting. So here's what makes a solid 35 Tango. One, you got to be tech savvy. So you should be comfortable with learning new hardware and software. You got to be detail oriented because a small error in your work could disrupt critical Intel operations. You got to be a problem solver because you're gonna face issues that do not have clear solutions. And you're gonna to have to be able to think through it. You gotta be a team player because you're gonna collaborate with analysts, IT professionals, and command staff. And you also gotta have a security clearance because this is a high security job. So you're gonna to need to have the ability to attain a top secret clearance. And if you're the type who enjoys taking things apart to figure out how they work, then overall this MOS might be for you. So let's talk about security clearances real quick. So to become a 35 Tango, you're going to need to qualify for a top secret security clearance with eligibility for an SCI or a sensitive compartmented information clearance. Now, this clearance means the government will look into your background, like your credit history, criminal records, foreign contacts, and even your social media to understand that you're going to be required to maintain high standards of conduct. Now, why is all of this? Because you're going to be working on systems that directly tie into national defense and military operations. And the wrong info in the wrong hands, this could put lives at risk. So if you're considering 35 Tango, it's important to keep your record clean and be upfront during the clearance process. All right, so let's move on and talk about some civilian career opportunities after you get out of the army. So here's where things get exciting. So once you've done your time as a 35 Tango, you can walk away with real world experience and technical skills that are in high demand, especially in the defense, intelligence, and cybersecurity industries. So here are some jobs that you might be competitive for. You got system administrators, network technician, field service engineers, IT support specialists, cybersecurity analysts, intelligence systems analysts, electronic warfare technicians. You could become a defense contractor, or you could become a government civilian worker for the NSA or DHS. And let's not forget, you may also walk away with security clearances, CompTIA certifications, and project experience that makes your resume shine in any tech job market. All right, next, let's talk about the promotion potential. So like any army job, promotions depend upon time and service, time and grade, and your performance. But 35 Tangos often find themselves in high visibility roles that make them eligible for faster advancement because you're going to work closely with senior leaders and joint operation teams. And that type of exposure can give you opportunities to build a solid reputation. Also, many 35 Tangos, they go on to become warrant officers like a 352 November, which is a signal intelligence systems technician, or they branch off into cybersecurity, intelligence analysis, or some of them even go to officer candidate school to become a commissioned officer. Now let's talk about some of the pros of becoming a 35 Tango and here are some of the perks. First one is you're gonna get tech heavy training. So you're gonna leave the army with some serious IT and electronic skills. Your skills are also transferable. So your experience can easily translate to civilian jobs. They're gonna have a security clearance. So you're gonna have access to opportunities that most civilians cannot touch. This job is always challenging and never boring because every system, mission, and problem is different. You're in a support role. 
So you're vital to the mission, but you're not on the front lines. It's also highly respected because you're part of the military intelligence community and there's opportunities for career development. So this could be a great stepping stone for advanced positions or higher education. Now, of course, every job has a flip side. First thing, you're going to deal with some long training. So remember, AIT is nearly a year. So if you're looking to get in and get out quickly, this isn't the job. A security clearance is required. So not everybody's going to qualify. And a denied clearance means you could be reclassified. There's going to be some mental stress because you're going to be working with sensitive systems that can come with pressure, especially in mission critical scenarios. You may have limited duty locations, so you're likely to be stationed at bases with intelligent units, which can limit your choices. And then there's going to be some isolation because you're going to be working in restricted access areas away from the rest of the unit. But regardless of all that, those who go on to become a 35 Tango, they see the rewards far outweighing the drawbacks, especially because they love technology. All right, so let's talk about where you could possibly be stationed. So generally, you're going to be stationed at larger installations with robust intelligence or cyber components. And some common duty stations include the following. So you got Fort Bragg, Fort Hood, Fort Meade, Fort Huachuca, Fort Gordon. You have some overseas bases with intelligence detachments. So basically, your location is going to largely depend upon your specific unit and the mission. Now, who should consider becoming a 35 Tango? So this MOS is ideal for somebody who loves tech and troubleshooting. You want a job that's meaningful and mission focused. You prefer behind the scenes support work. You value job security and long term career potential. You're curious about intelligent cybersecurity and defense systems, and you're OK with working in secure structured environments. Now, if you're not big on fixing gear, learning tech systems or dealing with tight security rules, then this probably isn't your lane. But if you're that person who thrives when tech is involved and you love the idea of supporting real world missions then 35 Tango, this could be your dream job. All right. So let's go ahead and wrap all this up. Is 35 Tango worth it? Absolutely. If you're the right fit. So the 35 Tango MOS is a powerful blend of technology, national security and real world mission impact. It's not glamorous in the traditional sense and you probably won't get movies made about your job. But make no mistake, without people like you keeping intelligence systems online and secure, missions will fall apart. And when you get out, you will be more than just somebody who served. You'll be a highly trained, experienced, and security cleared professional with options. So whether you're looking to serve your country, launch a tech career, or both, the 35 Tango Path has the potential to take you far.